my take on the Ilya Karun 200 meter butterfly time of 1 minute and 52.80 seconds on 31 July 2024. I'm filming this the same day and I got my red and white on. Canada flag is red and white. I'm filming the same day, Wednesday 31 July 2024. A little bit closer to Canada than the place where this result was achieved. So I'm filming this in the Seattle area. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. She, her, hers of Seattle. Tannis Leonardi. She, her, hers of Seattle. I'm going to talk through the Ilya Karun of Canada 200 meter butterfly race at the 2024 Summer Olympic Games in Paris, France. A time of 1 minute and 52.80 seconds in the final on Wednesday, 31 July 2024. With his time, he achieved a personal best time, a Canada record in third place. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of advertising on the Canadian television channel I watched leading up to the race, Toyota, my car brand, uh, and in marking the most recent medal in swimming for a male representing Canada at the Olympic Games since 2012. I watched the race on the West Coast branch of the television channel Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, in the Seattle area, CBUT. So, uh, yeah, so I watched this so I've watched him in the 200 yard butterfly in person. I'm on a different channel on YouTube in the background going like this for one of those races. Um, so I spectated him in person uh, in the yards version of this race. So short course yards. Uh, and so I was like, it'd be fun to follow up. And since I have access to, he's the only swimmer that's true for where I can watch that true yeah i think it is actually the only swimmer that i went and filmed this year march in march 2024 whose broadcast the broadcast of the olympic games for that country i can watch i have access because i live far enough north i can watch usa and canada but i didn't actually the people i filmed and published about in from the usa didn't make the Olympic Games, so it left me one and only one option, and he won a medal, and I was watching, and so uh, they were, they introduced him, he was born in Montreal, per the, per the broadcast, Canada, but spent some time living in the United States of America, but no more, he's Canadian citizen, and stuff like that, um, and I got it, All right, do this again, I didn't do it for him in person, though, I actually... I, I did it for a guy for the USC Trojans. So I didn't. That's the first time he's getting it. His school colors. At least for that race. Um, the one I spectated in person. So that's a his first time, right? Or our first time. Okay. And um, with the pom pom. And so they were saying that the last time there were medals for men from Canada in swimming was in 2012. And I was watching and I was like, well, that's very cool mom do you want to watch the guy and so um <laughs> like when they so they showed kind of the them getting up and stuff and they introduced him and i was like he's good looking he's good looking and he and christophe milak and leo marchand the three of them went gold silver bronze not necessarily in that order but the three people i wanted on the podium made all of the podium spots i wanted i was like dude this is my race okay and then sarah so to get okay i i like i watched two races for uh, before filming this and i was like i couldn't be happier with the results so thank you Ilya Kiri, if you're watching this you hottie you canadian hottie and then um at least per nationality slash citizenship and so leading up to it they were uh they brought up my car brand advertising with Toyota, and I think they even actually did a track and field with a Toyota, which the track and field competition hasn't started yet. And I was like, are they, are they, are they pointing at me? And they even brought up bunny ears when they were talking about him. I recommend, I very much recommend uh, the Canadian uh, coverage for this race. They did, I thought it was good. All right, they, in, in, they did an appropriate coverage of Lyon Marchand de France. Uh, the language is of Canada or what like English and French so I was like yeah it makes sense for them to focus on the French guy right um, so and they they didn't neglect Christophe Milak uh, I was I was very pleased I was like you know if I'd watched this on the American one they would have just brought up uh, an American who's not even in the race's name and I was just like I'm very pleased 
with who I, who I chose for watching. Um, and thank you for an amazing performance. And congratulations, Ilya. Kareem, Ilya. Um, my personal best time, a Canada record. And a bronze medal, first for Canada of any type since 2012. Pretty cool. Oh, in over a decade. Let's um, I'll do that in over a decade. I like that phrasing better. And the time was one minute and 52.80 seconds.